958 that voted. Uh, there was uh, 2,000 uh, that were registered, uh, but 1,400 actually um, made it um, here in their presence. So we're calculating a 64% participation rate. And the reason why we're going off of that number is because you could only participate in the straw poll if you um, registered and got a passcode sticker. Okay. Do, do you guys have any idea how many people came just to vote in the straw poll? Like, you know, maybe even they paid yeah. followers to, I, to I, come here. I was that. told that, that, that Ben Carson uh, bought a big block of tickets, um, but I don't think he's the only one that did that. Mm -hmm. Again, one of the things that we wanted to avoid in this particular straw poll so that it would have the kind of an internal validity that we wanted it to have was to keep someone from buying 500 tickets and then some staffers sitting in some hotel room voting 500 times for their boss. That was not what we wanted this to be. We wanted the crowd, we wanted the, the attendees to be those that really express their opinion. Um, and, and that's what we got. So there was the ability for you know, Ben Carson to buy tickets and have people come on his behalf, but you know what, they had to come. They had to register, they had to, they had to be here. Now, as I said earlier, you know, with about 40% of the vote after the first day being for Ben Carson, it indicates to me that they came with that direct uh, intent. And so kind of addressing your question there, I think that that's probably a good leading indicator of that. Um, but, um, but his number fell over the course of time. Um, Carson finishes first, Scott Walker, Wisconsin governor, finishes second. Mm -hmm. U.S. Senator Ted Cruz of Texas finishes third. I've got Rick Santorum, former U.S. Senator of Pennsylvania, at number 12 with less than 2% of the vote. He won Oklahoma in 2012 in the, the Republican presidential primary. Are you surprised he, he, he doesn't even finish top 10 in this thing? Well, um, you know, um, yeah, I think, I think it is a bit surprising. But again, I, we just saw uh, that the last um, – uh, SRLC straw poll had Ted Cruz uh, winning that one. So we're, I think what we're seeing is is just like what we saw last four years ago, and that is is that candidates are rising and falling at a certain period of time where they are uh, uh, the the candidate of the month. And and right now, I would say that Ben Carson is exactly that right now. Can he hold that and sustain that for the next year? That remains to be seen. But as I said earlier, I think that what that truly does for them is gives them the ability to show those that are going to help these candidates financially show that they can connect with the party faithful. Chris Christie finishes fourth. Mm -hmm. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie finishes fourth with 5% uh, of the vote. Mm -hmm. Mike Huckabee, mm -hmm. who finished second here in the Republican primary in 2008, finishes 11th. Former Arkansas governor way or you know gets half the vote that the New Jersey governor does. Yep. Again, that's well. And the, these are not. This is not reflective of Oklahoma presidential primary voters. Then I guess this is just reflective of the people who showed up for this that, event. This week. That's right. That's right. And but I think this is a unique opportunity to look at polling results based upon the party faithful. I mean, if you're you could be a good Republican and vote in every election and you know go to work and then go home to your family every night. And I think that. Uh, uh, but you're not very likely to contribute money to a candidate. You're not very likely to volunteer and get involved and in, in, in active in, the, in any particular campaign. And so this was never really intended uh, for that particular purpose. But what's great about this straw poll is it gives us some insight into the party faithful. Uh -huh. and, and, and that is what I think that most donors are wanting to see. Keep in mind that voters change their mind over the course right. of time. And I'm sure that there are people who have a preference right now in Oklahoma and that they may change their mind come six months from now or even 18 months from now. Bill, give us one, one more uh, uh, result. The results to, to, to some other question that, that you asked that you thought was made that really stuck out for you. Well, um, I think it stuck out that uh, we had anticipated that Ted Cruz would do well among Texas voters, and he actually got beat by Ben Carson. Um, I think uh, um, um, just among now again, that was only uh, those that were from Texas only made up I think eight mm -hmm. percent of, of those that uh, yes eight percent of those that totally voted. Uh, so it's a very small sample size. But the the point of matter is is that I think that most of us anticipate that Ted Cruz would be much more organized. He'd have much more of a force. 
and uh, he would be competing for, for example, against uh, Ben Carson for that. To me, I think that was one of the, gr the greatest insights here is, is that while Ted Cruz is still an, uh, an announced candidate, he's still trying to organize and get his people active and engaged like the Ben Carson folks are. Uh, the other thing I thought was interesting, particularly among Oklahomans, is, is that Scott Walker would have actually won this straw poll this year had it not been for anybody attending from any other state. Mm -hmm. So it shows the preference that uh, Oklahomans have. And keep in mind, Scott Walker's not even an announced candidate. Right. Now, if you take a look at what you were saying is, is that those that, why are some of these at the bottom and some of these at the top, everybody at the top except for Ted Gruse, mind you, uh, participated. Jeb Bush was here, uh, and then that's where it stops. Then, as you can see, the 4% down um, was much more limited. So, you know, my, Mike Huckabee sent his wife. Uh, um, let's see, uh, Bobby Jindal was here, but that, and, and Carrie, uh, uh, Carly Fiorona was here. But, but um, they, they didn't come with any type of organized uh, supporters. And I think that's why the, the results are what they are. Well, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it.